Welcome to day 148. We are in Proverbs 5 through 7. Um, so let's get at a um, couple of things here which were really pretty cool. Um, the immoral warm woman, which basically is all Proverbs 5, but uh, just picked out a couple of things to talk about. Um, verses 3 and 4. For the lips of an immoral woman are as sweet as honey, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But in the end, she is bitter as poison. So another reason to teach our, our girls to be moral, uh, outstanding citizens. And then um, I put down one man, one woman here for this one, uh, for, for marriage. Uh, Proverbs 5, 15 through 17. So here's what it says. Drink water from your own well. Share your love only with your wife. Why spill the water of your springs in the streets, having sex with just anyone? You should reserve it for yourselves, never share it with strangers. So, one, there is a um, uh, 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 piece of evidence to, for the Bible to say, hey, abstinence is the best thing, wait for marriage. And then the other thing uh, here is, it doesn't say uh, share your love only with your wives. It does say only with your wife. So, um, I think if you went back in your list of uh, the sex um, part of this, that we have homosexuality, we have, homosexuality, we have immorality, uh, and then we have marriage between a, a man and a woman, if you go through all those verses of the list that we've been making, it talks like this. And it's very obvious to me, as you read through these things, it really is meant for a one man, one woman marriage. So I think that is just another piece there, another reason why you keep a list of certain things every time you go through this each year and, and try to make sure you have those so it's easy to pull up and say, hey, this is what it says. Um, I've had many uh, discussions where people say it never says one man, one woman in the Bible. No, well, it doesn't talk about dinosaurs in the Bible either, but uh, it, is meant that it is obvious that it's in the creation and we can mention other things. So that's that one. Um, Seven things that the Lord hates uh, for your number sevens. We've got two sevens in this uh, in today's uh, reading. Proverbs 6, 16 through 19, which I thought was a great uh, little discovery here. There are six things the Lord hates. No, wait, seven things he detests. So it says, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, hands that kill the innocent, a heart that plots evil, Feet that race to do wrong, a false witness who pours out lies, a person who sows discord in a family. So there are seven things that the Lord uh, hates. What a crazy thing. And then the last thing is about theft in Proverbs 6.31. <clears throat> but if you are caught, if he is caught, he must pay back seven times what he stole, even he, if he has to sell everything in his house. Wow. So seven is used in many different ways in the Bible. And that is your day 148. I'll see you tomorrow.